Hi, I'm Seamless, and today is Friday, which means it's time for you how to bass. And today I'm going to show you how to make the sound. It's uh, really loud. Damn. Okay, so bear with me here because this sound is, is a very basic sound. It's not really that interesting, but there's a very tiny component of this that actually is really cool. You can actually kind of see it in the little spectral display here. You can see how one harmonic is like, yeah, cool, I'm a harmonic. And the other harmonic is all weird and scratchy. That's the thing. So I'm actually going to do this with a new one, a new harmer, because it, it is really very basic, but it's just, it's just a weird, weirdly not intuitive thing. So basically what we're doing is it involves this knob right here, the mix between the saw wave and the square wave. We're going to go to this articulator. We're going to go to the X mapping, and we're going to make it so that when I move X, the, the X knob, it moves the thing. Oh, no, it's not moving, and that's because this is a 0 to 100 knob, not a 100 or negative 100 to 0 to 100 knob. It's a 0 to 100, which means that this is the max and this is the minimum. This being at the minimum means that it's starting at 0 and then going down to 0. So we need to start at 100 and then go down to 0. So that this is now the correct orientation. Just in case you've ever tried to do that and it didn't work, that's why. Now. The fun part is where we go to the line type mode and we actually go and engage the wave mode. The wave mode is a line that does this or this if you go all the way to the other side. And this is essentially what we're doing. It's a saying that as I move X, it's changing it more than once through the duration of X. And I'm going to do it really fast. What this is doing is it's giving this, I mean, you can hear what it's doing, but like what I like about it is that it gives it this texture that makes it sound very crackly, but it still has the harmonic characteristics of a saw wave, essentially, most of the time. In fact, half the time. Small modulations make it kind of weirdly obvious that what you're doing, but most of the time, when you're doing other kinds of modulations, this is going to be something you're doing pretty quickly, like this bandpass bass. This is really just a basic bandpass. I've got some unison with the hertz mode; it's turning off pretty fast, and I've got, I changed the unison pitch, thick, pitch thickness because I wanted it to be off further the lows and highs, and and then I distorted it with rubber. Because I distorted it with rubber. I just ran it through rubber and it distorts a waveform because that's what rubber does, apparently. But um, all that, this is regular, just normal, basic stuff. But the kicker is that it does have this sort of unique characteristic to it, this alien quality, as a result of really, really quickly switching between saw wave and square wave harmonics. And that's it. That's the cool part. I talk about this and I think it's cool because I did this in one of my bases in the How to Base 3 sample pack that's actually now on sale at the fixed store slash seamless R. And um, it was an, it added a neat sort of bass characteristic, like B-A-S-E characteristic to the, to the bass, B-A-S-S. -S. And um, I thought it was a neat idea, so I'm going to talk about it. And that's why it's today's How to Base. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and to whitelist my channel on your ad blocking. And if you have any questions about this, please let me know. And as usual, have a nice day.